Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. Today's video will be part one of a two-part series that will go over how to add Espresso tests to an existing Android Studio project and create a page object model test architecture using the Java language. If you're new to the channel but enjoy testing related content, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below or hit the like button on the way out as we definitely appreciate the support. With the intro out of the way, let's get to what today's video will cover. In part one of our series, we will go over how to set up our Android project with the Espresso dependencies we need, as well as upgrading a few of the Gradle versions used by our test project. We will achieve this by performing the following steps. First, we'll clone the intro Android demo project we'll be implementing Espresso into. A link to this project can be found in the description below. Then we will validate that the build runs and the application is functional. Next, we will add our Espresso dependencies to the app's build.gradle file. And finally, we will go through and update the Gradle versions used by the test project within the Gradle wrapper and the project build.gradle. So the first thing we need to do is clone down our repo. So we'll do git clone and then the repos URL. Next, we'll open up Android Studio and we will navigate to the location where we pulled down the repo to and select it and open. So as you can see, it opens with the README file. First thing I want to do is go to build, clean project, and then build, rebuild project. Let that build. I'll take a quick look at the project structure and resize some of these windows here so we can get a good view. All right, so now we can validate that the application runs and is functional. So I'll hit the play button there. Uh, as you can see, the application opened up on our simulator. I can open and interact with the application. It appears to be functioning properly. With that validated, we're ready to set up our dependencies. So we'll open up the apps build.gradle file. We'll go down to dependencies and we'll actually add our Android test implementation. And we'll actually do three of these because we have three different dependencies we're going to add. Uh, we're going to add our espresso, our runner, and our rules. So first we'll add our espresso. We'll do android x.test. Espresso colon espresso dash core colon 3.1.0. Next, we'll do our runner. So we'll do android x dot test colon runner colon 1.1.0. And finally, we'll do our rules. We'll do Android X dot test colon rules colon 1.1.0. Next, we want to set up our test instrumentation runner. So we'll go up to default config. We'll write test instrumentation runner. We'll enter Android X dot test dot runner dot Android J unit runner. Now with our dependencies defined, we need to update our Gradle file. So we'll open the build.gradle for the project. We'll go in here and update this to 4.1.1. And we'll go to our Gradle wrapper and we'll also update this to 6.5. So we'll go up and save, and then we will sync project with Gradle files. In part one of our two-part Android Espresso series, we walked through how to add the Espresso dependencies needed to get going with Espresso tests in Android Studio. In part two of our series, we will go over how to set up a page object model using Espresso. If you're a regular or new to the channel, let me know if you like this style of video by hitting the like button down below. And if you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.